Hi guys, in a previous video I show you how to install Linux and how to customize Linux and I choose the two distros, two important distros as I think the Debian and uh, the Fedora Debian is the godfather of all Linux, of the most Linux distro and uh, Fedora is the godfather of all the Red Hat system, the IBM system and the Red Hat system and the drivers and something like that. In this video, I will teach you how to remove, how to completely remove Linux from your, from your machine. But uh, we make, uh, I make this logic, if, if and if. If you want to remove all Linux and keep uh, Windows, so you have to do this way. Open your search and type computer management, enter. Then go to your computer storage and go to disk. And this, this is the, let me make it bigger. To, so this is the EFI of the Windows. And here's the window file system. Here's the EFI of Debian, and here is the here's the Debian file system, and here is the EFI of uh, Fedora. Here is the Fedora system. So we say if 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 you want to remove all Linux and keep the Windows, the, so the best way to do here right click, right click, no, right click and delete volume right click delete volume and the best thing to do there is a software called mini mini tool partition wizard you open it so this is the windows file this is the debian file this is the fedora file so right click and delete right click and delete right click and delete then you make the apply and that's all okay this is uh, the case but uh, this if you want to delete all linux and you keep windows so you do this way the other if if you want to delete one linux distro for example you want uh, for me i don't like i dislike uh, fedora I don't like it, so I want to delete only Fedora, and I keep uh, and I want to keep uh, the Debian partition, the Debian operating system. So if you want to delete one Linux distro, and you keep the other with the Windows, so you will instead you have triple uh, boot, you have only, you will have only two boots. So you do you have to do the following, the safety way. The following is, first you open the terminal as admin, uh, as admin. You type disk part. You type list disk. Then cell disk zero. Now list part. Now cell part. You select the part number one, partition number one, okay? Where is the system in Windows partition, this partition. So select partition number one, part one, enter. So now partition number one is selected. So assign letter for this partition. Assign letter equal M. Assign letter equal n let's call it n okay successfully this part successfully assigned the driver letter or mount so now we mount now we exit type exit enter now type n double comma enter now type dir enter now enter to the efi efi file so type cd efi enter now dir enter 
So let's see the part, uh, the the operating system in uh, the EFI. We have Debian, we have the Microsoft, and uh, the boot. So there is no there is no uh, Fedora here. So let's exit from here. So now I decide to to remove uh, Debian. So I have uh, uh, to remove uh, Fedora completely. To remove it completely and to be sure that in the BIOS there is no Fedora, I have now to reboot the system and uh, log in into Debian desktop. So now, as we see, uh, we reboot to the to the Debian and uh, we continue the procedure. Now we decide to remove uh, the Fedora and we keep Debian. So we open the terminal and we write sudo minus i, enter, k. Now we write efi boot mgr, enter. Now let's see the partitions here. So this is, did you see this? boot 003 star Fedora. So we have to delete this. In window, in window when we write in the terminal, in the terminal if you remember, in the disk bar, and we assign the letter, we, uh, this Fedora didn't show. Only we, we, we see the Debian partition and the Windows partition, which is here, the 00 partition. The Debian partition, but Fedora is not show. Now we want to delete this partition. So simply we write EFI boot MGR space minus B space. So the partition code is 003 Fedora. Okay? So we type 0003 space. Minus V capital. Okay. So now let me clear. Again, we type boot EFI. So now we delete the the Debian partition. Now Debian partition is deleted. So now we have to delete also the Debian uh, EFI partition and the Debian uh, home partition. To do that, we go to disks, and here, here is the Debian partition, uh, the, sorry, the Fedora partition. This guy and this guy is the Fedora partition. So, So this is the Fedora EFI, and this is the Fedora home, the root. EFI, root, we have to delete these two. So here, select the EFI of Fedora, and press minus. Okay, delete. Your password, and this is deleted. Now select this guy, don't select the other. Select only the partition you want to. So select now the root partition of Fedora and press the minus. Okay, did it. So now this partition is deleted. So Fedora now is deleted. After we delete the partition, we open the terminal and we update the group. So, uh, so we update the group, okay? So to update the group, what we have to write, sudo apt, sudo update, update group, password, okay. So now we have the boot manager for window and the boot manager for the Linux. So we have Debian and the, the group is updated. There is no Fedora anymore. 
Now this empty part, uh, empty partition, uh, which is uh, in the uh, the, uh, the partition that uh, we delete, we deleted, we can or extend the Debian partition, so it will be 200, uh, 230 gigabyte, or we can remove it before the uh, Debian and we can extend it to the Windows partition. To do that, we use the, uh, the mini tools wizard. So uh, if you want to extend the Debian partition, you can extend it. But to extend it, you have to go uh, to log out from Debian and to enter to Ubuntu Live. And uh, you use the Gparted, Gdisk, Gpart disk. And from Gpart disk, you extend, uh, you resi uh, resize the Debian partition. Or, if you want to add uh, this uh, empty partition to Windows, so you go to the mini tools partition, and uh, you put this empty uh, 99 gigabyte partition before the EFI of Debian, then you extended the window partition to become uh, 700 gigabyte in my case. So now we, we remove uh, the Fedora completely from the BIOS, it's, re, uh, it's removed, from the group, it's removed, and from the physical disk drive. Okay, that is uh, what I, I would like uh, to, say, to tell you. So now let's check uh, the group. So now when you boot uh, to the uh, to the system wait when you boot this to the system you will find find in the boot manager in the group manager Debian and Windows and there is no Fedora okay so let's uh, Save this guy again. Uh, let me talk also about how to customize your group. So to customize the, the group, uh, you can choose the background. The background, I choose black because it's harm in my eyes. And you choose the light gray, light gray color to switch from the color, uh, to switch between the, the operating systems. Okay, or, or between the options, because these are two operating systems. Debian operating system, Linux, and Windows operating system, and here, the, the BIOS. So when you go here and you press enter, you go to the BIOS, to, uh, to, the, to the BIOS, to modify the, your BIOS, or to, to change the thing of the BIOS. Here, the black, I like the black, and here, the gray. General setting, I choose this. So wherever I reboot, I reboot to the previous boot entry. I choose this, I choose this, I I deselect this, and I keep this as it is. This, I keep it as it is. It is nice application, in a group. You can install it from, um, from uh, GNOME uh, store, if you are if using, uh, if you are using uh, Debian. Let's check the system status. Okay, it is great. So uh, this is what I would like uh, to say about uh, removing uh, operating system, Linux operating system. And vice versa is true. Even if you want uh, to remove Windows, the same strategy. You open the terminal. So uh, you open the terminal. You type sudo efi boot mgr enter. You enter. So here, if you want uh, to remove uh, the the window from the boot, so you type EFI minus B. What's the uh, code number of uh, Windows? 000 zero, 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 minus B, and you press enter. Okay, and it will be removed. Then you go to the disk, you delete from the disk, then you update uh, the group. So uh, you will have only uh, Debian. Okay, guys, I hope this video is helpful. And as I always say, uh, stay safe. Uh, and there are two to many. Ci vediamo dopo. Ciao ragazzi.
So, as I said uh, before, uh, I want to extend uh, the deleted uh, Fedora and the Debian. So, I want to extend uh, the Debian partition. So, now I go to the... I have uh, the USB uh, Ubuntu Live. So, I go to the Ubuntu Live and I have to install the Gpart. Or maybe it's installed already here. Yes, this is Gpart. So this is the unlocated, and this is the Debian. So right click on Debian, and we make resize. And we resize it to the end. So look, it's 200, uh, yes, resize to the end, resize, and you press OK, and apply, and you just wait. Now close. Now close this. Now go to disk. So now we have two uh, two partitions. EFI root for Debian. EFI root for Windows. Now we are done here. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. And I hope this video is uh, good. And we hope that we learned something today. And as I always say. Stay safe and there are two to be any fight COVID-19. Ci vediamo dopo. Ciao ragazzi.